What is going on, Americans? Jericho Green here with you once again. And I must say, Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union are fucking disgusting. You ask yourself why? I'll tell you. They have a son. Well, it's D. Wade's son from another uh, marriage. She's a stepmom, but they have a kid. His name is Zion. He's 11 years old. And apparently he's gay. Now, I'm not going from the whole religious angle. It's a sin, blah, blah, blah. I'm not even concerned with that. Never mind the fact that he's only 11 years old. What I find disgusting is that they took him, or well, he was out of town. She, Gabrielle Union, took him to the Pride Parade in Miami. Jericho, what's wrong with going to a Pride Parade showing pride in your sexual preference? Well, because it's not just pride. They're not walking around with rainbow flags singing, we shall overcome and fucking village people hits. No. We're talking about a bunch of gay men. Yes, there's women there too, but the majority are gay men. Now, men by nature are perverts. And I don't mean bad perverts like Joe Biden or the Latin name Bidenus pervertus. I'm not talking about in a bad way. Men are sexually charged. We are sexual beings. We want women. Or if you're gay, you want men. My point is, the sex drive is the same. And when you get a bunch of men together who like to bang each other, it's going to get gross. I would not want to be an animal living in the sewer after Pride Week. I'll put it to you that way. Shit is going to get disgusting. You loosen some of the rules. You're going to have a, a lot of dicks out. Some making out. Could be some fucking going on out there. It's disgusting. It's not a place for a child. Now, these weren't the only ones that had their kids out there. And any person who takes their kid to a pride parade, you're fucking disgusting. That's child abuse. Now, have I ever been to a pride parade? No. But believe me, that is a donut I do not need to bite to know it's sweet. I've seen plenty of pictures. I've talked to plenty of people who have been to them. A buddy of mine worked at a radio station in San Francisco. He's been to them. It goes down. And it's fucking gross. There's no place for a child. Now, D. Wade is retiring. I don't know if he wants to maybe get into politics in Miami. And he's trying to ingratiate himself to the community there. I don't fucking know. But a pride parade is no place for your child. Now, I know you want a virtue signal and Gabrielle Union, I, gun to my head. I couldn't name a good movie that bitch has been in. Maybe she's trying to stay relevant. Maybe she's trying to stay in the limelight. But at the expense of your child is disgusting. Pride parades are a bunch of dudes, half naked, with their dicks out. No, oh, you're being a little too extreme. It's not that bad. Look that shit up. We're talking men here. Men like sex. And if you happen to like sex with other men, and it's an entire week dedicated to your fucking debauchery, that's not a place for children. And that is disgusting and gross when people use their children to virtue signal and show how fucking down they are. At what expense? Your child doesn't need to be seeing that. Your child doesn't need to see half-naked people. Your child does not need to see fucking people making out and rubbing on each other and drag queens and all the other weird shit. Now, if you're an adult, have at it. Have fun. But Jericho loves the kids. And to put your kid in a position like that is fucked up. Go ahead, Google it. Look at some of the images of shit that's going down there. Would you bring your 11-year-old there? There are pictures of people with their kids and fuck their little boys in fucking dresses. Talking about my son is LGBT fucking alphabet soup group. What kind of sick shit is that? The police should have been down there, batons out, beating the shit out of these people. The fuck are you doing with your child in a situation like that? Bro, it's pride. They're just showing pride. Yeah, that's some of it. But let's be real. 
There's inappropriate shit going down there for kids that kids should not see. But of course, Hollywood. Hollywood. Of course they're okay with that shit. And they have a little boy down there in a little tank top and some short ass green shorts. What the fuck are you doing? You think there's no perverts down there looking at your fucking kid? Dressed like that? That shit is absolutely disgusting. That is child abuse. Just like purposely raising your child in a single parent home, that is fucking child abuse. I couldn't believe that shit. It's fucking Sodom and Gomorrah down there. And you bring your 11 year old? Posted, oh, we support you. We support you. Unconditional love. That is not unconditional love. That's not love at all. Why would you put your child in that situation? To see that kind of fucking debauchery. There's like Vegas on steroids down there. You're bringing your child there? What the fuck is wrong with you? We support you. Support your child all you want. It's a part of your job as a parent to support your child. To give them comfort and love. And let them know no matter what, you will be there for them. Of course. But to take your 11-year-old to fucking a pride parade is nasty. Some, I, I mean, as an adult, hey, I, I'm not hating on you. I'm sure if they had a heterosexual pride parade, there'd be the same kind of shit going on. But I'll tell you what, my child would not be there. They had him on the float, this little unicorn. It, it, was, it was hard to watch. And when you see that, when you see this little kid juxtaposed against half-naked man with fucking hot pants on, and you can see the outline of their fucking dick, come on! Like, you didn't feel the slightest bit disgusting seeing these things walking around with your kid? Gabriel, and Gabriel Union, you were there. You were actually there with him walking around seeing this shit. You're a disgusting bitch for that. How how did the, the law enforcement even allow that? As a police officer, how do you not see that and immediately arrest the parents for bringing their children into these kind of situations? You can't take your kid to a strip club. You can't take your kid into a bar. You can't take your kid into a fucking porno store. So why would you be able to take your kid to where there's almost live action pornos going on right in front of you? Law enforcement is a piece of shit for that too. When your child is that young, and if some of the kids were younger than that, five, six, seven years old, letting them dress up in dresses and makeup and shit, did it ever occur to you that maybe your child will change one day? My son thinks he's Spider-Man right now. When he's 15, you think he's going to still believe that? Children change. You can't indulge every little thing that they're into. They're not always going to be that way. And with something so major, that is... F I don't know what other word to use other than disgusting. It's like when you feel just gross seeing that kind of stuff and standing next to your child. What the fuck, man? That shit really pissed me off, man. I don't give a shit what adults do. Fuck adults. But children? You can't be doing that shit. What if one day he decides, or in a couple years... He does. He's not gay. Who knows if he really is gay? Maybe he just mentioned something. He's virtue signaling piece of shit. Just took it and ran with it. And now he feels he has to portray that because you're putting all this pressure on him. What if he doesn't doesn't feel that way? What if he changes his mind? Are you going to support that? Only if it fits into to your narrative, you will. If it doesn't keep you relevant, you're not going to support that. And this isn't the first time Gabrielle Union said some dumb shit 
uh, was a year ago or whatever. She's talking about, oh man, in, in, in America, it's so racist and my children, we have to give them the talk about being pulled over by the police. Bitch, shut your mouth. What talk? Now for normal working class, the average American, there's no need to give your kid the talk because they're black. You give your kid the talk across the board no matter what color they are. When the police pull you over, do what you're told and shut the fuck up. But she's sitting there telling her kids that the police are gunning for black kids. Your kids aren't normal. You're not normal. You guys have tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars. Your children aren't like our children. You're rich. The only color that matters is fucking green. Now, I know you feel bad. Maybe you feel bad you, you can't go back to the hood anymore. I don't fucking know. But you're not one of us. Your children aren't going to have to deal with the things our children deal with. Now, why would you poison their mind and tell them because of the color of your skin, the police got a target on your back? Man, shut the fuck up. Anybody who gets pulled over by the police or has an interaction with law enforcement should be respectful and do what they're told. If they do something wrong to you or they treat you improperly, file a report, file a lawsuit, but go about it at a later date. But to sit there and think that your rich ass is going to have to deal with the things that we deal with is a fucking joke. Your skin color don't mean a damn thing. If we've learned anything from O.J. Simpson and Juicy Smollett, your skin is not your fucking sin. If you got money, you'll be all right. Man, that's just foul. You gonna take your kid to the fucking pride parade? You dirty motherfucker, you. Man, let me wrap up my state-mandated meal period. But you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Follow your boy on the Twitters at Green underscore Jericho. I am Jericho Green. Man, I'm out.